borrowed his blazer because why do I need to go out to buy a boyfriend blazer when I am living with Juana? Hello? Hi my loves, your favorite island girl here, Miss Phoenix from the 876. Welcome back to another video. And from the title of this video, I'll be sharing with you 20 fashion trends to wear in 2020. trends is not really what should make what should define you but basically your style and how you feel on that particular day practicality wearability and comfort at the end of the so day so the first fashion trend is denim i know right who would have thought but denim is something that is really classical i don't think denim really goes out of style per se we just have different ways of wearing denim so in a recent video i did a monochromatic look of denim head to toe and that seemed to be picking up i didn't even know when i made that video before i didn't do start doing any research it just happened to be that i did a denim look and then it was there in the 2020 list denim head to toe trend is the midi dress so it's not the mini dress and it's not the maxi dress but it's the midi dress so this dress basically is below the knee but not quite to the ankle so it's between the knee and the ankle and uh, I guess these dresses you can always rock them with sneakers, you can rock them with heels, you can rock them with boots, it can be casually worn probably with a jeans jacket, it can be formally worn with maybe like a blazer over it. So the midi dress, I definitely seen myself. I have been doing midi dress, I'm more of a mini dress kind of girl though, you know, to be honest with you, but I can see myself falling for that trend in 2020 trend number three is the tank top aka belly skin <laughs> all right so the tank top um for me is usually always an essential so it's not i don't really see it as a trend per se but i guess because i don't usually wear tank top like out like that unless i'm wearing something over it so maybe yeah can i can really probably see then as a trend um moving forward so i can just you know take out all my tank tops and pair it with um some jeans or some skirts and of course maybe not leggings because probably that would be too much you know stuck on leggings and then the crop top unless you're going out and you're putting on some heels you know so you get that really sexy sleek look for trend number four we are on to the puffed sleeve the balloon sleeves anything exaggerated sleeves we started this trend in the, in 20 the latter part of 2018 into 2019 and 2020 the sleeves are getting bigger and i am here for it all right i'm here for it so i'm excited about this one as clearly you can see i am the dress here that i'm will be showing you it's a very simple dress but at the same time the sleeves makes it so nicer it may it make it's a cheap dress well affordable dress but i think those sleeves give it something you know so nice so different so i am definitely here in 2020 for the exaggerated sleeves another fashion trend that we also brought over from 2018 yes into 2019 it took off in 2019 and we're here again with it in 2020 is neon moment of silence for neon neon is here in full force for 2020 and this girl is excited because that was one of the trends that i took up i never thought i really loved it so much but then as i bought one piece i found that you know something about it because if you're wearing full white full black you know subtle monochromatic tones those neons can really give you a pop when you really need it so I, I i gravitated towards that neon trend and it is still here in 2020 and this is 
chunky heels everything big and chunkier so in 2018 2017 18 and 19 we were all about the dad the we call them dad sneakers are those chunky sneakers no the heels are getting more hardcore more like in jamaica we call it walkerman boots meaning that these are the shoes that like the workmen will wear with those big thick chunky soles this is a fashion trend for 2020 and yes i am here for it i think it is wearable i think it is practical once you're buying colors that you can fit into your wardrobe or the styles that you're buying you see yourself wearing at maximum then yes i would say go for it we are still in the platform era anything that has some some chunk to that heel elevation then that is a, a shoe trend for 2020 so for trend number seven which is on my wearable list but now that i'm thinking about it it may not be so wearable because of where i'm living i'm in jamaica it is a leather <laughs> PU leather, leather it, fall leather, any way you want to put it, but that material is hot, aka a hot. Bad, bad, bad. So, this trend I like, I love as a matter of fact to see, and this trend is not only just leather, it is a colorful leather. So, it's not only just wearing that black leather that we're used to all the time but we're adding colors onto it i recently picked up from Shein a leather um you call it that tan or yeah i think that's a tan color um jumpsuit full leather i tried it on and for the moment i was burning up but sis will let it will make it work i'll just wear it somewhere <laughs> that has air conditioner and i'll just i'll risk it <laughs> all right so this trend trend number eight is utility jumpsuit we have been there utility jumpsuit i didn't take on to this trend i just i just thought it didn't do anything for me for my i didn't think it it showed uh, any assets <laughs> it you know i i don't know what it's i think it's still practical i mean anything that is just one piece is always practical so whether you're wearing a jumpsuit whether you're wearing a dress anything that is one piece is always practical in more than one ways you can always throw something over it change it up you know when you're going somewhere else in it so it gives the outfit an entire different look and the two you don't have to be thinking about top going with the bottom or you know matching this with that or what goes with that and all of that so i just always think it's practical to wear a jumpsuit to wear a dress to wear a um, romper stuff like that one pieces are always a win-win for me so the utility jumpsuit has uh, this has been an old trend i guess it's revamping i'm not sure if it basically died down but it's it's coming back for 2020 and trend number nine let me just recap back up to number one when i started from head to toe denim number nine is a straight jeans or boot cut jeans boots cut jeans was a thing of the past i remember in my early 20s boot cut jeans was the thing hallelujah i have one that i i every day i i was tempted to throw it away because i'm saying this is so out of style and it's out of fashion and this not wearing again and then this jeans in particular had the white stitches in it like nobody wears those things anymore but then i said to myself because listen i i reason with myself you know good good and proper too i said uh, self and self said yes jody <laughs> mad people are loads of themselves and answer it up anyway self said yes jody and i say you of all person knows that trends comes and goes like we call it revolutionary so it will always come back around 
no matter how long it takes as long as you're you're in the same body weight or whatever it will always come back around maybe a small little tweak in here and there but usually the trends come back so hence i still have my bootcut jeans We're so good trend cut. number 10 which is the wide leg jeans guys we're back in 2020 another decade and we're back with the wide leg jeans and the legs are i'm sure are gonna get wider and wider so luckily i had mine before <laughs> i just saw this one and i liked it and i also showed this one in my previous video of the monochromatic look where i was telling you i did the you know the all denim look so the wide leg jeans was what i used to demonstrate it to demonstrate sorry that look so wide leg jeans is back for 2020 and fashion number 11 is the boyfriend blazer and yes i went into my husband's closet and i borrowed his blazer because why do i need to go out to buy a boyfriend blazer when i am living with one hello <laughs> so hint hint for the ladies get into your man's closet girl don't be afraid to take out his blazer yes we know the 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 um the shoulder pads are bigger and the, the, the it is more structured but that is the point of i mean this trend the boyfriend blazer and i i like it it makes me look square but i i'm getting like a grace jones kind of vibe when i'm rocking this this blazer so i mean i did something similar to this i think last year this time as a matter of fact but uh, it was like a boyfriend blazer i did i did the look with like a blazer a bralette and uh, a legging yeah over it so i think i can basically rock that look again with this particular blazer and yeah i yeah um mr tucker you won't be having any blazers <laughs> until 2021 if that fashion trend does not continue over into next year so boyfriend blazers yes we're 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 wearing it for 2020. For fashion number 12 we are resurrecting cardigans remember that little knitted um some knitted some cotton like feeling material and we will find everything to wear it with in the office it is back and we are wearing it not only in the office but in the streets we're wearing we're wearing cardigans out yes i've had this cardigan i'm not sh even sure how long because if you realize we're in the lakers colors <laughs> so we are purple and and yellow i don't even remember why i got this color but it it was a thing i remember that much it was a thing so this was what i got my cardigan in and my cardigan is still here in 2020 of like a decade ago and we are still here for the return of the cardigans so we know that cardigans are basically it comes in different sizes in different flows um some are cropped that you call them what you call the cropped ones again i don't even remember but you have the shorter ones you have the longer ones and you know cardigans are so versatile trend number 13 is the one shoulder anything so if it's one shoulder dress one shoulder top anything one shoulder i think i can't even compromise i don't even want to shift my mic <sighs> let us see if we can make it happen uh without you losing me too much yeah all right ah! <laughs> just discover one shoulder look here i am ready for the yeah i'm ready i'm ready this is one shoulder right come on shoulders when you say shoulder is a new sexy come on one shoulder feel me feel me <laughs> so one shoulder dress or top for 2020 and i mean it's it's nothing not nothing to it it's just i mean showing a little bit more skin you know it's, it's the um as i said the shoulders showing the shoulders are the new sexy so i ain't mad at it it can work I don't have much to say about the one shoulder more than I'll be wearing it. I've been wearing it. So <laughs> Yay to the one shoulder. And also, let me just point out that they say the color of 2020 is it's blue, but let me get let me get the, the, the color exact. Where is it? 
royal blue because i had classic blue first but i don't know where i get it from but it is actually royal blue is the color for 2020 i don't know what that means if i should be wearing more blue in 2020 it doesn't really matter because i wear whatever color i feel like but for all you know the trend is out there then if you want to be very trendy you gotta be putting some blue items in your closet specifically royal blue and just when i thought we were done with the denims for trend number 14 is midi denim skirts not mini no not m-i-n-i midi midi mid length middle <laughs> miggle as we say in jamaica midi length skirts so again i've had my stuff for quite a while quite some time i've just dig them out of somewhere that i had them pushed back in some back part of some closet and when i did these trends i thought in my and i said but i have that i have that i have that i have i went out and bought nothing trust and believe i've had these most of uh, yeah i got stuff here and there before but i most of the stuff i've had before put down waiting for the trends to come back almost two decades later and uh, still rocking uh, jeans and skirts so this is something i can you know probably take a little bit time to get used to once more to see what you know how i'll rock it and maybe how i'll feel comfortable in it and stuff like that but i mean once it's a trend and person starts to wear it then i guess it sometimes that builds your confidence too you know or gives you ideas how you can pair it and um, you know stuff like that so we'll see where this one goes i don't think it's gonna go too far with me to be honest i'm not really feeling it but i'm not striking it out so i'm definitely gonna try this one for this year for trend number 15 are waistcoats and yes my fellow jamaicans i was puzzled too what is a waistcoat but thanks to google i realized it's a vest <laughs> that's a waistcoat it's a vest and vest is something that i've always loved it's it's i mean it 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 came and it went and it went for a very long time but i've had my vest i have what two three pairs of vests one in crochet like and also a crochet is a trend as well for 2020 that did not meet my wearable list but it's let me just plug it in since i'm already speaking about that and i have it i'm going to show it a photo of it somewhere along here <laughs> hope i remember when i'm editing but um i have a crochet crochet is one of also the trends so whether anything is crochet dress top anything that has laces crochet thing on your thing will be a trend so if you have that then you can rock it once you you love it so waistcoats or vest are a thing of 2020 of course you know you throw them over something it could be a t-shirt if you're gonna be casual if you're gonna be formal it could be like a nice button-down shirt over it or you just want to be risque and you can just wear it by itself depending on the kind of vibe that you're having but we are bringing back waistcoats for 2020 i am not mad at it i just need to remember how i used to style it i remember when i always used to wear my waistcoats it will be more to like work and it always gave me like a preppy feeling because i think i usually wear this sweater and then i wear my my vest over it with this skirt and that was just always a look for me anytime i, I used to wear it on a monday morning i always remember because that's when you know you feel you're coming back from your weekend and you had a good weekend and you're ready to take on the week and you feel like you know yes gold we are coming for you so <laughs> yes so that's when i used to wear my vest fashion trend number 16 are stripes but they're saying stripes are box i does it i guess it doesn't matter where it goes horizontally or vertically or intertwined or whatever but stripes are back and uh, i've never been a big fan of stripes but i have one and two pieces stripes i try to get a little like everything sometimes even when i'm not really necessarily feeling it at that moment because probably another three months down the line six months on the line it will come you know into play do not go out and shop for things that you do not want i did not say that a while ago because i know personally 
from myself that even if I'm not feeling it at the current moment, I have something in the back of my mind, a little vision that I, you know, I'm seeing, but probably not ready to materialize. I'm not ready to, to act on that vision as yet. So I just put it somewhere in the back of the closet there and I know eventually it will come out. So here are my stripes and uh, we're going to see how best we can work it uh, for this fashion so for fashion the trend number 17 we just move on from the stripes you know all of that we are now moving on to the tones and these tones are like silver rhinestones anything shimmery rose gold yellow gold all of that good stuff i think we have been there before i don't think this basically went out but we are going to do more of it i guess in 2020 so it's pretty straightforward i i'm going to insert a picture here that i wore i think it was last august i went to a wedding and i wore this um gold it's i'm not sure if it's yellow gold it's not rose it's yellow gold um skirt and it was nice and it's pleated and all of that so that was it for you know last year and we're back again with it in 2020 and uh, um yeah it can work because it's my skirt and i plan to wear it for a long time i always say that though but it's true <laughs> so anything you see me try on here or promote here or show you here and you see me in the streets in it yes honey that's why i bought it <laughs> to wear it and to wear it as much as i possibly can so don't say that but miss here that already i miss you know that no darling i'll be wearing it all right so i'm putting a disclaimer out there in case you see me yes i just reference this video all right I'm gonna wear it so that is it for the rose gold the silver the shimmery the all of that um for, for that trend thing. number 18 we are on so peplum peplums are back peplums were in about four years ago five let me see my daughter is old i can use my daughter's age you know my daughter is six and at the time i think shortly after she was born so peplum was about four years ago yeah or five years ago because I have this peplum dress, I don't think I can fit in it anymore because it was already tight at the time and I've gained a few pounds since then. So I'm not sure if it still can fit. I'll try and if it does, then I'll insert it somewhere along here. So let us see where our fingers are crossed. Um, yeah, hoping that it will fit. Peplums, I think, is so fashionable. Peplums gives the outfit some grace, some class, some elegance. I don't think everybody really per se loved the peplum but I loved it I embraced it when it came around I've had quite a few peplum tops I still do and I I need to you know look for those and resurrect them but I still do have you know probably two or three peplum tops because I really and truly loved that trend when you know it it was around probably four or five years ago and I'm still loving it now it's just a matter of resurrecting what I already have and uh, finding different ways how to accessorize and you know dressed up and all of that so yes peplum peplum is here for me so yeah i'm, I'm yeah I'm, I'm gonna work with peplum so for fashion the trend number 19 our statement jewelry is anything we're big and bold as people can see you them see your jewelry first is considered a statement jewelry <laughs> anything at all right so anything chunky we're going for big we're going for long we're going for you know that kind of a thing i'm an accessory person so i i just love it anything to be extra i just love it but not too you know over the top but extra enough to it can work kind of extra so i am here for the chunky Oops. earrings and the hoop earrings in any size it doesn't matter as long as the earring go around in a one circle like so and come back around and meet it then it can work i don't think that has ever gone anywhere really because hoops are just always classical so over the years they have had on some hoops they had on the tassels on it they had the diamond strips around it we have it in all kind of size all kind of even the shapes change because hoops doesn't necessarily doesn't necessarily means a circle some of them um we call it asymmetrical or geometrical once it goes around and comes back and meets the the the, the, the front of the earring then it's considered a hoop my 
definition that is do not quote me all right i'm not a jeweler so i still consider that a hoop so we're on to hoops so we're just gonna run with the hoop and yes so that's it for the hoop so number 20 for the 20 fashions of 2020 no i'm not gonna buy 20 in a cash pot tomorrow i will leave a 20 this year why don't buy 20 again in a cash pot Oh, number 20. I'm gonna look fit. Oh, like, I'm gonna look fit. 20 is sick person. I would not declare no sick, but that is it in cash pot. And by the way, if you don't understand what I mean, cash pot is like our that what you will call you like your lottery, except it's, it's just one number from 36 numbers, and you, you determine which one number is gonna play, and each number has a definition. So yeah so we have one to 36 and then you can decide which number you're gonna buy depending on your dream or what you see or what somebody say to you and stuff like that and then you decide <laughs> that's all i miss and then you decide which number and you you place um a ticket for that number and if that number draws then you get whatever winning that is there so that's what i'm referring to as cash spot it's, it's like a luxury game all right so that out of the way all right so number 20 is polka dot polka 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 dot i'm not mad at polka dot listen me always love polka dots always 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 leopard prints and polka dots every video i'm gonna say it yes See, polka dots is back and it's not necessarily just in black and white anything polka dot once it has the dots and the the polka dots with any two um any other colors once it's polka dots we are it's a train right so um because the way i'm excited about this i can't even find the words to explain how i feel about the polka dot being back <laughs> but i've had these shorts and i've been wanting to wear it but it's not that because it wasn't in trend that i wasn't wearing it i was just waiting for the right time to wear it and this is you know the time just presents itself right now so you'll be seeing this shorts very soon my polka dot shorts and i'll be just loving it and i'll just find different ways how to rock it how to style it fashion trend number 21 is bras as top bras here bra bralette ladies anything you wear up here is to cover your private part up here it's considered a bra and anything like that right now it's a trend so we're not gonna bother put on waste our time and put on any shirt over it we just put on our pants and all of that and we put on our bra and we're ready to go mm -hmm. and that's a trend for 2020 why i have it on my list as a wearable fashion because i'm a visionist right so i'm a yeah me, me just i don't i don't love to see things for what they're as you present them to me i like to you know can envision beyond it see if you give me a broom i don't only think that broom is only meant for sweeping but i may find other uses for that broom right even though we know the broom is, is specifically for sweeping but i just don't see it just using it for sweeping only right just an example so i'm seeing the bra but i'm thinking to do maybe like a diy because i'm thinking like of a bad dazzled or you know what kind of bra so maybe apply some rhinestone some gems some sequins some some apique you know something like that for kind of not make it look so much like you're wearing a brassiere with a with a jeans pants go out so i'm um, i think um that's why i have it there because i intend to do my own little diy to make it wearable so that's just a food for thought so yeah i'm on the borderline but bralette definitely i've always been wearing my bralettes so um yeah just continuing on from 2019 pretty much and for fashion trend number 22 is plaid so we did stripes we did polka dot look here a whole heap of print this and then a 2020 do you know i think plaid is like denim like jeans it doesn't matter the style or whatever it's all <coughs> sorry <coughs> it's always relevant so we're gonna embrace the plaid um no complaints about that so we're moving right along from and that. just as i thought we were finished with prints i looked down in my book and for fashion trend number 23 i'm not sure if you can see it it says tropical prints these prints are big roses, big flowers, big leaves, big everything. Because 2020 is a grand, gr remember my roller tongue, a grand year. So we're doing everything big. Receive it, sis. 
receive it bro everything big right so we're doing the tropical print for this year and listen i saw a video with J Lo doing the um i think it was in milan i don't want to quote wrong but I, it was a runway i don't want to say which runway i think it was milan but i'm not sure but she was on a runway and sis was tearing it up in that tropical print green thingy and some years ago i think about three years ago i made a set the set no longer fits me i have gained too much weight <laughs> that set no longer fits me but it's similar so i'll show it somewhere along here it needs to be ironed so please pardon it but that's just an example of what i'm referring to right so we're, we're we're still gonna rock the tropical prints i think in my climate or my island it's it's pretty the final one for 2020 is but is there a drum roll not really because it's not so big is loafers Hurrah. women wearing loafers and now we are introducing it into the women's closet for 2020 and um yeah me i'm going with it i'm not too bad with it i've never had any but i just bought this little cheap one you know off lately with no real intention of doing this video but it just happened you know to be <laughs> Come in the right time, honestly speaking. If I didn't buy it for the video, I'd tell you I'm bad for the video, but I did not. I just happened to see it and like it because of the color. And I think this is pretty much kind of similar to you know different types of loafers. I know they have the like the the leather red looking one, I know they have the cropped looking loafer, they have the suede looking loafer, you know, stuff like that. So I guess loafer is loafer as long as it have that little style thing there to it, it can work. So um yeah, I'm gonna be definitely wearing this one for 20. so as usual guys thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video remember to leave a comment down below please share and subscribe because your girl needs to get those views up so help assist out and when you subscribe also hit that notification bell so you do you do not miss when i upload a video until next time guys bye